low. Um, this Saturday morning, uh, a friend of mine passed away because of a heart attack. And rather than talking about her as kind of a memorial, since that would not be terribly in character for her, to talk about herself, that is. I'd rather talk about things she made me think about. And the things that will make her most missed by her children and her husband and her friends. Her name was Heidi Galvin. One thing you learned very quickly around her is that uh, if you were going to help someone, to do so quickly and decisively, to not fuck around, to either assist or get out of the way. And second is to pay attention to the people around you that you care about. to actually invest some emotional energy in them, to not in the woo sense, although. My circle of friends has so many different beliefs. That could be a part of it if you view the world that way. What I simply mean is if you are going to accept someone into your understanding of the world, then realize that an image of them is a part of your mind not the part that you mean when you say I or me, but that that human being is part of how you understand the universe. And that taking that lightly and slapping a label on them and using shorthand to describe them in a few words, you know, Republican asshole, um, flaming liberal, libertarian fucktard, whatever. Unless they have well and truly earned the categorization that you cannot possibly comprehend what makes them tick, then invest some energy into trying to understand where they're coming from. And that that which does not kill you, cancer, childbirth, children, um, a dog that, a friend's dog that digs through your mattress and box spring, or mostly through the box spring, um, car accidents, Crazy friends, crazy enemies, a circle of friends that could be described as ne'er-do-wells at best. Because of all these things, life is very fragile. And you don't cherish every moment by looking at what you can get out of it or what someone else is getting out of it or, you know, going through a checklist of, oh, yes, we have to see this and we have to go to this place and we have to do this place because these are the places everyone said is good. You cherish it by actively participating in it, whether it's sitting alone or being in a group of people or whatever you're doing. Even if it means I don't want to do this, I want to do something else. Go pick the moment, you know, pick what you're doing. Don't be somewhere because you have to be.
unless, of course, your kid's teacher has called you for some reason or another. And even then, as best you can, do it with joy. When an old friend steps away, someone you've come to kind of come to know and then comes back out of nowhere, give them a chance. You know, keep an eye out, you know, for you know, who, know, who knows what the hell has happened while they've been away. But um, give them a chance. It is much, sometimes, much more fascinating and much more rewarding to especially if your friends have a habit of being crazy people, um, like me, um, to rekindle an old friendship and see what happens. See what this person has been through and how they've changed. <laughs> and the shared perspective you have on the past given an extra number of years to think about it can often be quite amusing. And oh, the dirt you can share now that it's safe to do so. And never turn away a good friend. Never turn away a chance to have another good friend. Not Lifelong bos bosom buddy, you'll tell everything to him. Oh my God, I can't live without this person. But someone who cares, someone who you can trust to be them and whose intentions you can trust. Because as much as some of us like to try, you cannot make it through this life completely alone. You can't even be human completely alone. Do not be afraid to care about someone. Because even though sooner or later you will lose them or they will lose you, whoever survives, whoever passes on that memory to their children, whoever passes on that memory to their friends, the people they know, if you do well, all will be stronger for it. If you've done a good job being a friend and taught everything you can and learned everything you can and shared, everyone in that circle and everyone that comes from that circle will be better for you. And will be better for that sharing having, having happened. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time and attention.